Switching gears now, it is the nation's most prestigious science research competition. And this year, among the 40 student finalists, six of them are seniors from high schools on Long Island. These projects mostly focused on medical treatments and cancer treatments. And for many of these finalists, these projects are deeply personal. Deeply personal. Here's Stacy Sager. For 17-year-old Emma Wen, a senior here at Great Neck North High School, the Regeneron Science Talent Search is more than a passion project. Most adults couldn't understand Emma's research, which could end up being a stronger way to fight pancreatic cancer. So I studied AUM302, which is a targeted therapy, so it targets very specific pathways. And then there's her dedication. So Emma, I think, works for over 300 hours over the summer. Emma, well aware of what the American Cancer Society has recently said, pancreatic cancer needs more attention. For example, one chemotherapy called gemcitabine, even though it's one of the most effective ones out there, it can lead to resistance within weeks. But what also drives her goes well beyond the classroom. When I was six, I was diagnosed with stage four acute lymphoblastic lymphoma, and that really shaped me as a person in the way that I was surrounded by medicine. What she says made the most impact was the humanity of those who helped her. And as a dedicated EMT and hospital volunteer, Emma is certainly that too. In fact, she's a lot of great things. Can certainly explain a project um, at the, you know, postdoctoral level. And she's also this wonderful, giggly, happy 17-year-old. Regeneron like the Oscars of science competitions. When I found out when they called me, I was actually in shock. <laughs> and I was in tears a little bit. And I told my family, and we were all just hugging and really excited. There were over 2,000 applications and we selected 40 finalists. Long Island, the highest performing region with six of them, three studying different cancers. Scholars doing it for many personal reasons. Or they're seeing the data that's showing trends where younger and younger people um, are getting cancer. Clearly this is something we need to research more. Absolutely. The financial stakes are high. As a Regeneron finalist, those like Emma already get $25,000. Ultimately, the top winner taking home $250,000 after the final round in Washington in March. I'm Stacy Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Good luck, and that's just awesome, right?